Well, good morning and happy Easter. Today we're going to read about the empty tomb. It was early in the morning on the third day after Jesus had died. The sky was pink and red with the first light of the sun. The women didn't notice the sky, though. They hurried to the cave that contained Jesus' body. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, led the way. Two others, Salome and Joanna, carried the spices to rub on the body of Jesus. They had a job to do. When the tomb of Jesus came into sight, they froze. Uh Uh-oh. They had forgotten about the huge stone that sealed the opening to the cave. How would they move it? The women kept going to the cave anyway. As they came closer, the women could see that the stone had already been rolled away. They peeked inside. Oh, it was dark in there. Brr, it was cold in there. Drip, drop. It was damp in there. What? It was empty in there. Jesus was gone. An angel appeared in sparkling white clothes. The glow from the angel brightened even the darkest corners of the cave. The women shielded their eyes from the blinding light. Don't be afraid, the angel said. Jesus isn't here. This is a place for the dead. Jesus is alive. Hurry, the angel said. Go tell the disciples. The women did not delay. They ran to tell Jesus' friends what they had seen and heard. Ooh! Mary bumped into a man, tripped, and fell at his feet. Wait! She knew those feet. A familiar hand reached out to help her. Wait, she knew that hand. She looked up. Yes, she knew that smile. It was Jesus. Hello, friends, Jesus said. Jesus was really alive. The women hugged his feet and shouted with joy. Go tell the others the good news that I am alive, Jesus said. I will meet them in Galilee. I can't wait to see them again. The women had a new job to do. They had to tell everyone that Jesus was alive.